What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition Season 19, you guys, episode number three. The episode is entitled Poison Ivy. So you guys, before we go ahead and jump into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other on my channel and are not subscribed to the channel, that means you guys are doing me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, turning on your post notifications, sharing the video, and, and with that out the way, without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and discuss Marriage Bootcamp Hip Hop Edition. I don't think we're going to be here that long, but we'll get through it. All right, you guys, so this episode, we picked up where we left off last week. You guys remember that K. Michelle, she went into the room where Little Lyrica was and A1, right? And you guys remember she was running away from Gangsta Boo, and at one point she grabbed A1, and she wanted you know take him into another room basically she was just trying to run away from gangsta boot right and little lyrica got in her feelings about that right and i can actually agree with little lyrica in this situation with k michelle grabbing a1 it's the optics right the optics don't look that great that she grabbed him and pulled him into another room what she could have did well gangsta boo she was complimenting little lyrica but what K. Michelle could have did is she could have grabbed Little Lyrica. Now, Little Lyrica is sitting here saying that, you know, K. Michelle, it ain't, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with K. Michelle. And I'm like, that's a lie. Like, I don't believe that it has nothing to do with K. Michelle because I believe it has everything to do with K. Michelle. I don't believe that she thinks that K. Michelle is trying to push up on A1. I think what it was is the tension and the beef that they've had with each other, right? They, they may not be, you know, at each other's necks right now, right? But they're not in a great space, right? They're not, they're not best friends. They're not girlfriends, right? They're in a okay, semi-okay space, right? I will, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see, because we, we saw that, that fight in the trailer between she and K. Michelle, right? I'm kind of curious as to how that's going to come about, right? Because we only have 10 episodes. We have 10 episodes, right? Cause they're, they're there for 10 days and we're on episode three so we're going to begin that pretty soon so like i said i agree with her it's the optics but at the same time i still do believe that she does feel some type of way about it being k michelle so then we see the next we see the next day right so we see gangsta boo and emmett they're in her room and gangsta boo is cleaning up the room right and I like Gangsta Boo, but I can see that Gangsta Boo is hella controlling, right? She's hella controlling and she's possessive. Because we'll talk about that a little bit later in the episode. And I think she demands all of Emma's attention, right? And I think that's something that Gangsta Boo definitely needs to work on. The fact that she is demanding of this man's attention. So then we see, you know, Rub and Pennies and A1, right? So they're outside. And so Rub and Pennies is talking to, you know... A1 asking him about the night before right and at this point A1 now sees what the issue was it and he says it, it wasn't K. Michelle right it's basically what he's done in the past and it just kind of triggers her insecurities right so then you know A1 asked Robin Penny is about him and Mariah Lynn how were they last night right he said that you know she was upset and she went off on him but then he was talking about the fact when they did that exercise in last week's episode that you know she was talking about her pussy right and it's so interesting with these with you know what well, actually what well, came no 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 little lyrica is a little bit older than me and i know mariah lynn is a few years younger than i she actually she i don't even know if she's a few years younger than me she's a little bit younger than i am i don't i don't think that mariah lynn is in her 30s yet she could be but i don't think she is i know little lyrica and a1 are in their 30s if i'm not mistaken i think little lyrica and a1 are a few years older than i am right i believe i think a1 and, and little lyrica are like maybe 35 36 they could be younger than that but i think little lyrica and a1 are in my they are definitely in my age bracket and i, I know mariah lynn is a little bit younger than me but not that much younger than me right but a1 is talking about, you know, that they do that because of the fact that, you know, they've hurt them, right? And I don't I, I don't understand it when 
when it comes to when I see you know women today and they talk about oh my man is good you know I got this tight pussy I got this wet pussy I got this you know this good good and I always think to myself why do you why do you demean yourself to just your vagina right you bring you sh- you bring a lot more to the table than just good pussy wet pussy like there's so much more to you than just that right and when it comes to a man cheating he's gonna cheat regardless right i mean a man a, a man is gonna cheat regardless and just because you got wet pussy good pussy it don't matter what kind of pussy you got if he's gonna if the man is gonna cheat the man is gonna cheat unfortunately i hate to say that but it don't matter what kind of pussy you got like they always say pussy has no face right so it don't matter what kind of pussy you got if the niggas gonna cheat the niggas gonna cheat but hey it is what it is you guys i'm gonna pause there and we're gonna move forward all right you guys so to dr itch calls the boot campers to the backyard right so today's drill is going to be they're gonna make a video they're gonna do a dance routine for a video they're they're gonna dance for 45 did he say 40 it's got to be 45 seconds right damn not even a minute okay so they have some props for them if they want to use those props right so then you know their partner they're paired up with their partner so it's Kevin Michelle with casting Mariah Lynn with rubbing pennies a one a little lyrica and gangsta with one Emmett right so they're off the choreographing their routine right so then Dr. Ish hit them with the with the one two punch right so the one two punch is okay so yeah i told you guys that you guys will be dancing with your par- with, a, with a partner right i never said it was your romantic partner so what's going to happen is i'm going to give you a partner of my choosing and you're going to dance with that person right so okay michelle felt some type of way about that she's like uh-uh I'm, I'm not sharing my man with nobody right Kay lost me because she said she wasn't raised this way, but then she says that they've had threesomes. I'm like, you know what, Kay? I'm not, I, I, I have no, nothing in that. But Dr. Ish managed to talk Kay Michelle into participating, right? So he tells them what the new pairings are. So it's Kay Michelle with A1, is Mariah Lynn with Casting, is Little Lyrica with Emmett, and is Gangsta Boo and Rubbing Pennies, right? So now what they have to do is they have 45, they have to teach this new 45 second routine to their new partner, right? Now, K. Michelle and Caston, at one, their routine, she was dancing and she was in his lap, you know, doing some dancing, right? So then she has to teach that to A1. I was like, ooh, that's going to make Little Lyrica's jealousy flare up, right? With Little Lyrica and A1, she was going to be, you know, um, twerking on him, right? So now she's gonna have to twerk on Emmett, right? And then Gangsta Boo and Emmett's routine, it was something like where he threw a fishing line out to her and he reeled her back in and she, you know, did a little twerk. Mariah Lynn and Rich's was, she said that hers was very inappropriate because Rich's face was in places that it shouldn't have been, right? So now she has to kind of come up with a new way to do this dance with casting. So. After that, Dr. Ish told him, hey, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I just told you guys that you're going to be partnered with each other, right? So, let's throw a, 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 a wrench into that one. So, he tells them, on top of that, I want you guys, I, I come bearing gifts, right? I'm a nice guy. I come bearing gifts, right? So, he's done this before. We've done this before. We have done this before. And I'm trying to I know which season it was. The season that I'm thinking about where they've been tethered to each other. It was a season when Jocelyn and Ballistics was on there. Who, speaking of Jocelyn and Ballistics, the, the stuff that's going on with them and the cabaret, right? Because I remember that season because that was a season that Ballistics had a fit about Jocelyn. I don't forgot who her partner was, but I remember that they were tethered to each other at, at one point in that season, right? So they're so this group they're gonna be tethered tethered to each other until the time for the performance, right? So I'm gonna pause here, you guys, and we're gonna move forward and we're actually gonna wrap up the episode. Alright, guys. So after that, you know, like I said, they're tethered to each other until the end of, you know, until the end when they get ready for the performances, right? So remember the partner, the, the pairing is K Michelle and A1 is Little Lyrica and um Emmett. 
It's Gangsta Boo and Rubbin Pennies, and it's Mariah Lynn and Caston, right? So K. Michelle, she, you know, remember, K. Michelle had an issue earlier about Caston dancing with someone else, right? But we don't see K. Michelle having a big issue about Caston being tethered to Mariah Lynn or even dancing with Mariah Lynn, right? And the only person that we see have an issue with it is Little Lyrica, right? And Little Lyrica was falling when, like, I mean, she was literally in behind, in behind. She was literally behind, like, she was, like, on them, on, um, on K. Michelle and A1, right? She was on them so hard to the point that it's like, girl, your partner is literally tethered to you, sitting right next to you, and you ain't paying him, like, any bit of attention, right? And Gangsta Boo and Rubbin' Pennies were talking. She's like, oh, this is going to be his, you know, this is going to be a, a cakewalk for him, right? Because he's tied to Little Lyrica. She's beautiful, right? And I noticed that about Gangsta Boo. She know, I noticed that Gangsta Boo talks about how beautiful she is, how beautiful, how beautiful, how beautiful. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, does Gangsta Boo have some insecurities, right? Because I feel like Gangsta Boo might feel like she's not, you know, she does I don't know. I don't think she has high self-esteem or high confidence in herself, right? But Gangsta Boo is beautiful, right? I think Gangsta Boo is beautiful. But um, I was just looking at that. I'm like, she talks about how beautiful Little Lyrica is as if she's not a beautiful woman herself, right? Only thing about Gangsta Boo is that wig, that's it. But other than that, Gangsta Boo is beautiful. So she's saying that he's going to have a good time with Little Lyrica. And Robin Penny's like, no, he's not. She's like, why you say that? He says, because she's high maintenance. And I'm like, exactly. She's high maintenance. And then two, K. Michelle and her husband are tethered to each other, right? That's going to kick up her insecurities. And, and that's exactly what it did. But I will say, though, that little Lyrica, when she did give K. Michelle some good sound advice, right? Because she told K. Michelle to basically lower her expectations, lo like put less pressure on casting with this whole fairy tale, right? And I love the fact that she said that, right? Because that is something that K. Michelle definitely needs to do, right? So then we see the performances. They were kind of blind to me, right? Mariah Lynn and, you know, cast and they did social distancing, right? Little Lyrica and Emmett, he looked up the entire time, not looking at her. Gangsta Boo and Rubbin Pennies, they had a good time with each other, right? And then K. Michelle and A1, they were the only ones who I feel really understood what the assignment was, right? So they were the ones who won the, the, um, won the drill and they were presented with lobster and steak dinner, right? So then we see, you know, we see Rubbin Pennies and Mariah Lynn, they were talking to A1 and Little Lyrica, right? And she got offended by the comment that um, Rubbin Penny said, right? Because Rubbin Penny was talking about the fact that she basically just keep throwing up in his face everything that he's done, right? She says, I don't do that. I'm like, girl, yes, you do. You've done that the first, I mean, you've done that every episode so far. You bring up his cheating, like, stop playing with yourself, right? So then at one point, the guys were going to go out to the pool, right? And Emma was going to go out there with the guys. Now, Gangsta Boo, I love Gangsta Boo, right? But like I said, it's insecurities. It's control issues, right? Because she went out there and got Emmett to come back in with her, right? And I'm like, that was just her exerting her control over them showing, hey, I can make him come in here if I really want him to, right? And then we go over to K. Michelle. She is in bed with Cass and telling Cass and to fuck a baby. These are her words, not my fuck a baby into me i was like oh my god so graphic right then she got mad at him somebody i don't even know why i'm with you i hate being i'm like girl oh y'all know i love k michelle and i do love me some k michelle right but uh k michelle can be quite mean at times right but hey that's the episode you guys please let me know what you guys thought about it leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel please turn on your notifications share the video and until the next time guys stay safe take care of yourselves remember to wash your hands Wear a mask, socially distance, be blessed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.